This YouTube channel gets over 1.5 million views and generates over $3,000 in ad revenue every month. Here's another channel raking in millions of views and thousands of dollars in revenue. And the common thing between both is that they have achieved this without ever showing a face on camera. The great news is that anyone can now create videos like these and grow a faceless YouTube channel very quickly and very easily with the help of AI tools like ChatGPT and InVideo. And in this video, we'll show you exactly how you can get started with it in just five easy steps. That too, without having to learn any complicated script writing or video editing skills. The first step is to pick a niche for your channel and finalize ideas for your videos. Now, there are several tutorials you can find on YouTube itself, including a video that we created that shares the best faceless niches for 2023. And then decide on the basis of two primary factors. Number one, how easy is it to create videos for this niche? And number two, how much revenue can you stand to make from them? For the purpose of this tutorial, we are going with the motivational niche because videos in this category are super easy to create and monetize. Now, once you have your niche, you want to start by finalizing ideas for your videos. And one of the easiest ways to get started with this is to go to a popular channel in your niche and look at their top performing videos to see which ideas have gotten them the most views. We look at Red Frost Motivation's most popular videos and start working with an idea that appeals to us. Their videos on poems and port lists have done really well. And I think I also want to start with something like that for this channel. So we'll be making a video on life-changing quotes from ancient Greek philosophers. Now, once you've finalized your idea, the next step is to write your script, which is something that you can do very easily with ChatGPT. Start by signing up or signing into your ChatGPT account. And we are going to use the prompt box at the bottom of the screen to give the AI prompts for the kind of script we want. As with any AI tool, how we write our prompts will massively drive the success of our video. An easy way to simplify giving prompts is to ensure that you include five key elements in it. These are the type of video that you're creating, the topic you want it to cover, the length of the video, the tone of voice you are going for, and any specific details you want to add as well as any inputs for scripting style. For this video, we want the AI to create a script around 10 life-changing quotes from ancient Greek philosophers. So here's how we'll write the prompt for that. Now, as you can see, we haven't really mentioned the length of the video here because it's going to be a short listicle anyways, and the length is not relevant. A prompt like this ensures that you get a detailed script from the get-go. Now, once you click enter, ChatGPT creates the script in real time. It takes a couple of minutes depending on how long your video is. And once you have the first draft, you can read through to see if you want any changes. If you do, just give it additional prompts. I want the intro to be more snappy and I think the first two quotes are just too short. So I'm going to prompt the AI to change these. Often it doesn't take more than one or two iterations to get the kind of script you want. And once you have it, simply paste it in a doc file and you're ready to start creating your video. For this, log into InVideo and go to the text to video workflow in the dashboard. This is one of the easiest workflows to create a video from. And it works well for this style of content because the script and the concept are quite simple. Now within the text to video workflow, you will find a library of templates to choose from. Scroll through to find a template that fits in with the theme of your video in terms of transitions, text, animations, and music. You don't need to worry about the color palette at this stage because that is something that you can easily change while editing the video. Now, once you've chosen your template, select the aspect ratio. For us, it's going to be landscape since this is for YouTube and then click on use this template to go to the editor. Here you have your main canvas area on the right where all your scenes will be placed and you have your script box on the left. Now, all you need to do is copy your script and paste it in the script box. Make sure you press enter for longer sentences or paragraphs and make sure that each quote starts in a separate line. Then select the box for auto-suggesting media and make sure that the premium stock media options are also checked and then click on create scenes. In video will then create video scenes for the entire script in real time. Now, once your scenes are created, you can go ahead and replace the automatically selected media if you want something different or feel that it's not relevant. And to get inspiration for the kind of images or videos to use, let's go back and look at a video from the Red Frost Motivation channel. 
they either tend to use cinematic clips related to what the motivational quote is saying or they use a solid image of the philosopher whose quotes they are using. And I think both of these are great ways to choose clips and images for our videos as well. So to change the media in a scene, we will go to the video tab in the left menu and here use the search bar to search for relevant clips. Use a few different keyword combinations to find relevant results. For the first one, we either want a cinematic shot of someone writing a journal, so we'll search for that. Now, once you find a clip you like, I like this one, simply drag and drop it onto the canvas and hit replace in the pop-up window that appears. This will open up another pop-up window where you want to trim the duration of the clip to fit the duration of the scene. Simply select this option on the bottom of the screen that says trim video to fit scene and then click on add and your media will replace the template default. Now do this for all the scenes you feel necessary. Now, I also want to go ahead and add the image of the philosopher whose quote we are using. And for that, there's a cool hack that we are going to use. First, we'll go to the image tab in the left menu and find the image of the philosopher. In this case, it's Plato. Once we find a good image, we will simply click on it and it will get added on the scene on top of the video. Now, to make it look nicer, we will need to remove the background of the image so that only the philosopher is visible. To do that, we will simply select the image on canvas and use the background remover option on top of the canvas to remove the background. And there we have it, the image layered on top of the video. Again, you can go ahead and do this for all the philosophers in question. Now, once your media is updated, we want to go ahead and focus on the text. For the text on screen, simply select the text box and then you can drag it around to reposition it. And then you can use the controls on top of the canvas if you want to change the font or the size or even the animation. Now, once your media is locked, it's time to add your voiceover. This is super important if you want your videos to be engaging and don't want viewers dropping off. Ideally, you want to record your own voiceover because people connect better with an actual human voice. And this is super easy to do on InVideo. You can just use the record your voiceover option and record it within the editor itself. We suggest that you record your voice in a quiet room and enunciate properly to have the intended effect. But if you're just starting out and need the initial help to get your channel off the ground, you can also go for InVideo's automated text-to-speech voiceover. Simply click on the voiceover option at the bottom of the screen and this will take you to the editor workflow. So don't get confused. Here, you will just need to choose the automated text-to-speech voiceover option. This will open an edit window on the left from where you can simply select your language and the narrator voice. We are going with British English and Brian as the voice. Then preview your voiceover for your clip. Hey there, fellow seekers. If you like it, then check this box to add an automated view for all the scenes and then click on add. You will see a voiceover layer added beneath the music layer on the timeline and the timing of the scenes automatically adjusted to the timing of the narration. Now, once your voiceover is done, the final element to take care of is the music. Now, your template comes with a default music track, but if for some reason you don't like it, simply go to the music tab in the left menu and then choose a music track based on mood and genre. We want an inspirational soundtrack for this one. Now, once you find a track you like, simply select the existing music track on the timeline and delete it. And then click on the plus icon next to your chosen music track to add it to your video. Now, to make sure that your voiceover is audible, select the music track on the timeline and then click on the volume and fade controls on top of the canvas. And here, reduce the volume of the background music track. Usually, between minus 20 to minus 25 decibels is a good range, but make sure you give it a listen before you finalize. Now, once all your elements are locked, it's time to preview your video. We have only created this for about 40 seconds so that you don't have to sit through a five minute preview. Simply click on the play button underneath the canvas to view what your video looks like. Hey there, fellow seekers. Today, we're going to travel back in time to discover some of the most powerful quotes from the great philosophers of ancient Greece. Life without examination is not worth living. Plato. This profound statement by Plato reminds us that self-reflection is an essential part of living a fulfilling life. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Aristotle. Aristotle reminds us that it's not about avoiding failure, but about getting back up every time we stumble. And this has actually turned out to be pretty great. 
Once you're happy with the results, go to the top right corner of the screen and hit export. We suggest exporting in 180p for the best results. And if at any point during the process you face any difficulty or are not able to figure out how to proceed, you can use this chat icon right above the timeline to speak to our 24-7 support team. The response time is less than 30 seconds. Alternatively, you can go to help.invideo.io to refer to the massive library of resources that we have on using InVideo. Once your video is rendered, you can download it and then upload it to your channel. Make sure you think of a catchy title and design an interesting thumbnail to ensure that people click on your video as well. To grow your channel, you want to keep repeating this process to create at least one long form video a week. And if you can add shorts to the mix, that is likely to boost your growth even more. To learn how you can create engaging faceless YouTube shorts, check out this video next. And to know how to grow your YouTube channel, check out this video.